Hey guys, shooting for fun here. Hey, we're at the range today, and uh, we've done a little shooting here with our Super Comanche there. We tried some uh, regular 410 shotgun and some uh, slug rounds there, some triple lot buck, just to see how she does. Um, for a little hand cannon there, it's a pretty fun little gun to shoot. Um, what we're going to be doing now, this is our, uh, our Star BM. This is our uh, little surplus gun. Uh, we've done some work to it, and we're going to see how it shoots. We've had a couple of breakages on this one, and uh, we're going to try to shoot today and see if we got all the kinks worked out of it there. Um, this does have a new firing pin. We did end up have breaking the firing pin on the first time I shot it. Um, we replaced the firing pin, the firing pin spring, the recoil spring, the uh, little barrel bushing. Um, the, not the second, but the third time I tried shooting it, we broke the barrel ring bushing. Uh, the barrel ring link that goes inside the barrel that holds, this piece goes through that holds the barrel intact to keep it from sliding. So, uh, You know, seems like it's going to work, so we're going to give it a shot here. And we're going to see how we do. Looks like uh, every one of them cycled, functioned really good. Now this magazine is uh, one that we used, uh, this is our uh, SIG P22501 uh, Pro Mag that we got. We uh, had to modify it a little bit, we had to ground out the little uh, caption hole there a little bit to where it would lock in. And we ground down the base a little bit to where it would go up far enough. But uh, these work with this Star BM and they work well. Let's give her a shot and see. Exception of my camera malfunctioning here, the gun did really well. And like I said, these are like uh, 20 bucks, and they want like 40, 50 bucks for these original mags if you can even find them anywhere. And let's see how we did here. Not too bad. Pretty much we shot a little, little bit high, but... Like I said, we really wasn't doing much consistency there, but we got... A lot of main grouping up in here. And, uh... This is a fixed front sight. Uh, it is a uh, fixed rear sight, but you can adjust it for windage. But uh, all in all, I think we, we got her fixed there. It looks like it's going to work good. All right, you guys. This is our uh, Star BM. It's our Spanish surplus there. We did buy some, some of the wood grips for it. I don't know if you can see that there. It makes it look really nice. Uh, we did a little re-bluing on it, and like I said, we replaced the firing pin, the firing pin spring, recoil spring, uh, recently replaced the barrel link there, so, um, 
You know, I've done a little little uh, fixing up on it there, and got a pretty nice looking and a nice shooting gun now. And like I said, these things they run about 179 to about 225, depending upon where you can get them at. And uh, they're a uh, kind of a compact version of the 1911, you know, in the same style. Um, it's a heavy gun, it's a little over two pounds. It's all steel, steel frame, steel slide, steel barrel. Um, this one was made in 1977, so it's about a 42-year-old gun there. Not bad shooting. All right, guys, I'm shooting for fun, and thanks for watching.